Red Sea are going to let you out of church. Yeah, with a church bell. We hope you're going to follow along with us. What do our art friends need for this lesson? A marker, some paper, and something to color with. Yeah. All right. Let's start. We're first going to draw the ground down here at the bottom, and we're going to draw a bumpy line for the snow. There we go. Yeah. Now we're gonna draw a rectangle shape, a really tall rectangle shape. This is for the bell tower and also the front door. So we can start down here and let's draw a really tall line that goes up really tall, really far. Woohoo! Whoa, really oh. far, that's okay. <laughs> now we're gonna draw another one right next to it. Stop and it's touching the ceiling. Yeah, you oh, almost did ceiling. touch the ceiling. I like yours. Now up here at the top, let's draw a line that connects the two and we're going to go past on each side. <laughs> You're going to have a really tall bell tower. I like it. More people are going to be able to hear it. Okay, now right here at the top, we're going to draw a little point. And this is right in the middle of this line. So yeah, that's close to the middle. And then we're going to draw a curve that goes up to the top and then we're going to come back down to the other side. Yeah. Good job. How old are you? Eight. You can be super proud of your drawing. It's okay that our two drawings look a little different, right? Yeah. It's okay if their drawings look different too because the most important thing is to have fun. Have fun and to practice. Practice. All right, let's keep going. Now we're going to draw the top of our tower where the bell is. So first, we're going to draw a line right about here. So you could draw, yeah, right, right about there. Then we're gonna draw a big upside down U shape. We'll come up the side like this, curve around, and then back down on the other side. Curve around for the U shape, and then back down. Now we can draw another uh, upside down U shape that's smaller inside. This is for the bell. So draw it like that, smaller but inside. And then uh, right here on each side of the bell, we're gonna curve out. Then we're gonna connect those two lines. There are two sides of the bell. And we can also draw the inside of the bell, we'll draw a little U shape right there. That's the part that makes all the noise. <laughs> then right here at the top, let's draw a little line connecting to the top of our bell tower. All right, good job. Now let's draw the front door. We're first gonna draw stairs. I'm gonna draw one line that goes across the bottom for the first stair. Then let's draw another stair, but smaller. So we're gonna draw two more lines that are inside, further inside going up, and then we'll connect those two lines together. Now let's draw the door. We're first gonna draw a line right down the middle that goes up. There you go, this is so that we have two doors. Next, we're gonna draw the outside of our door. We can draw a curve that comes out like this and then straight down. And I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. Curve out and then straight down. Yeah. Cool, and then let's draw another line that matches that, that goes around the outside for the door frame. Just add a little extra detail around the door. Oh, you're doing such a great job, Austin. All right, now let's add our doorknob so that you can actually open the door. Draw two circles. Our church is a little skinny, Austin. Yeah. Maybe we should make it bigger. Let's start here, and we're going to draw a diagonal line that comes out on this side and a diagonal line that comes out on the other side. You could start maybe down here so that your bell tower is a little bit taller than mine. I like it. And then same thing on the other side. Yeah. Then let's draw another line, a diagonal line, right below the first ones that we drew. This is for the roof. Then let's connect those two lines. Next, let's draw the side of our church. We'll draw another line that comes down from the roof and connects to the snow on each side. <laughs> Should we add windows? Yeah. All right, let's draw a window on the left side first. We'll draw a horizontal line first for the bottom of the window. 
Then let's draw two short lines down, kind of looks like the stairs, one on the other side, and then we'll connect the bottom. Then let's draw a line right down the middle, almost just like we did for the door. You could draw a little taller too. There you go. And then let's repeat that same shape that we did for the doors, except for the windows. Curve on each side. Nice, then we could add a little line towards the top. Let's add a frame around the window. Let's draw a short line on each side. And then let's draw a curve that comes around the outside of our window and adds that little extra detail all the way around, just like the doors. Let's repeat all of those same steps for another window on the right side. We'll draw a horizontal line first for the bottom. Then we'll draw the two short lines down and we're gonna go a little faster since we're repeating the same steps. Connect the bottom. Then let's draw a line right down the middle and we want it to be the same height as the window over here on the left side. Then we'll draw the curve and down, curve and down. Then we can draw the horizontal line. Then let's draw two shorter lines over here so we could trace around for the detail, the window frame. We'll go around, up, and back down. Let's add snow to our church though. Let's draw a wavy line on the top of our roof. And then we can also add, there you go. Then we can also add a little icicle on the side of the roof hanging down. And then let's repeat that same step over here. Draw a bumpy line along the top of the roof and then an icicle on the side. I think I'm gonna add snow up here on the steeple on the top part. Looks like Ice syrup. Cream. Oh, syrup, yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna add a little more, I'm gonna add snow on each of the windows. Like this, a little bumpy line on the top of the windows. And then also maybe on the door. Oh, I could even add some snow on the window seal, on the bottom of the window. Oh, I'm gonna add snow on the side of the church. <laughs> Let's also draw a path going up to the stairs. We'll draw a bumpy line looks like sideways C's or, si or sideways U's. And then let's draw the U's going the other direction on the other side. Yeah, all right, Austin, we did it. We finished drawing our church with our church bell and also it's covered in snow. Looks like it's ready for Christmas. Yeah. Except we're not completely finished. What do we still need to do to our drawings? Color it. Yeah, we need to color it. This part we're gonna fast forward, but at the end, you can pause the video to match the same color. You ready to fast forward? Yeah. Awesome, give me five. You did such a great job on coloring your church. I hope our art friends are gonna take time to color their churches also. Now you don't have to color it exactly like ours. You can change the colors. You could even add more decorations or even a background. Do you know why we drew a church with a bell? Because it's one of your favorite Christmas songs. Yeah, I heard the bells on Christmas Day is one of my favorite Christmas songs. We hope you guys had a lot of fun following along with us, and we'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye! Goodbye.